What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Exploit Theory. This is Kyle and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get outside the map on Days Gone as well as a few other random glitches on the game. Now just to get it out of the way I'm going to show you guys a cool glitch you can do with the camera mode. Now this allows you to play the game the way it was meant to be played. All you have to do is come to this sanctuary area then you're going to want to back your bike up into this corner here until when you try to hop off, then it says, would you like to reset your bike? Now what you need to do is hold square to get off your bike so that that error pops up, but then try to press start right before the error comes up. If done correctly, you should be in your start menu with the option to reset your bike in the background. Now simply go down to photo mode and double tap X. This should put you in photo mode and reset your bike at the same time. Now you can freely ride around while in the camera mode. This allows for some unique play styles. But that's all there is to it. Go nuts. Now because we're going to be saving the best for last, we're going to just show you how to quick teleport to some weird kind of dev test area outside slash under the map. Now this is also fairly easy to do. You simply want to be in an area where you can fast travel to any section on the map. Now once you're hovering over the fast travel option, press square to fast travel, but then press the touchpad to close the map menu at the same time. If done correctly, you should have closed your map, but now it should be asking you if you're sure you want to fast travel. Now from here you want to go to the start menu and then exit back to the main menu. Once you get all the way back to the main menu, you'll notice that the option is still there to fast travel. Simply load up a save that is different than the one that you were on. But make sure you are not on a bike. Now once you load up into that save, go ahead and fast travel. Now once you've successfully fast traveled, you'll realize you're underneath the map, surrounded by these weird pyramid textures. Now you should be stuck, but in order to get unstuck, every single time that you fast travel here, it will auto-save you here. Go ahead and reload the auto-save. Now once you reload the auto-save, just keep rolling backwards away from your bike and you should get unstuck. Now there's some invisible ground to walk around here on, and some trucks, and even a little bit of water to swim in. But that's pretty much it, really not too much to see around here. Now with those minor glitches out of the way, let's move right on to the outer map. Now in order to get outside the map, there is one thing that's required, and that is you're going to need the axe or hatchet, whatever you want to call it. Because this makes the glitch entirely possible. Now there may be other melee weapons that allow you to do this, but the axe or hatchet is the one thing I do know that does work. Now in order to get outside the map, you're going to be deloading the auto map barrier and rocks that prevent you from getting outside the map. Now in order to do this, you're going to need the bike and the hatchet. You're going to want to go ahead and park your bike next to a spot outside the map where you can feel the barrier. I chose this spot and one other spot I'll show you later. Now when you're getting onto your bike, you can actually cancel getting onto it by either meleeing with your melee weapon or rolling away. Now to start the glitch, I actually prefer rolling, so I'll go up to the bike and then I'll hold square to go onto it and then I'll roll away at the very last second. Now once you're done rolling or meleeing, then you will go back to the bike. Now this is where the hatchet comes in. With the hatchet you can keep continuously swinging and you'll never get sent back to the bike. So you can go as far away as you like as long as you're swinging your hatchet. Now you can actually roll to speed things up in between hatchet swings, but that's more risky and you end up getting sent back to your bike for quicker than you'd like. And another warning is what you shouldn't do is be pressing forward at the end of your third hatchet swing. Because if you're pressing forward, then your character will begin to walk, and walking will get you sent back to your bike. Now, I've found the perfect distance for this is around 1,000 kilometers. It may also work in between 600 and 1,000 kilometers, but the further away you are, the more consistent it actually works. You can go ahead and try 600 kilometers all you want, because you are actually able to save and continuously try over and over again, but I just found that the best results happen with at least 900 to 1,000 kilometers. Suppose this would be a good time to warn you to avoid enemies, as they will screw everything up, so you're going to have to avoid all zombies on your trek across the map, 
as well as don't be around zombies when you're at the end of your swinging trying to go back to your bike, as it will prevent you from being able to save. Now once you've made your way across the map, you're going to want to stop swinging your weapon and then start continuously pausing and unpausing until you see the option to save. Now once you're able to save, save your game right there. Now the reason you're actually able to save even though you're not near your bike or bed is because the game actually allows you to save while you're hopping onto your bike. I'm assuming this is because the game assumes that if you're about to hop onto your bike you must be next to it, even though that is not the case. Now with your game saved miles away from your bike you can go ahead and keep trying this glitch over and over again, but this will be your very first attempt here. Go ahead and unpause the game, and then as soon as you see yourself back on the bike try getting off and rolling outside the map. Now if you didn't get it don't worry you can go ahead and load up this save and try again. Now what I find works best instead of just continuously reloading the save is actually going over and dying and then respawning back at that spot. Now if it seems like you're not even getting close, don't worry, there is a bit of a random aspect to this. Sometimes the map just loads in faster than others. But if you went to 1000 kilometers, I can guarantee you, you should get it at least within your first 10 tries. But when you finally do get it, you'll notice that you'll be stuck in a barrier, but it will just push you all the way to the top of it. And then you can see just how high these barriers actually are. Now, don't be too worried about getting down, you can simply walk off to the side over here and go to the terrain that actually goes up higher than you are right now. Now, this out of map area isn't the biggest, but if you head to the left over here, there's actually a checkpoint you can hit outside the map, so then you'll actually have a quick save outside the map that you can load up later if you ever choose to get outside the map here again without having to do the roll. And then over on the other side over here, there's this massive barrier you can walk on next to the out of map. It goes to show just how big these barriers are for this out of map. But now with this next spot you'll see not quite all of the barriers are that thick. For this next out of map I'll be showing you, you're going to want to go to the exact opposite end of the map as shown here. Now with this I would actually park your bike facing the out of map as this time you're going to bring your bike with you. I simply parked my bike sideways because I thought I was going to have to roll out just like before. I wasn't expecting the barriers to be thinner on this side. I actually only tried riding my bike out once I realized I couldn't roll up the slope. Now just like before you're going to want to hack and slash your way across the map except this time I think I got stopped around 900 kilometers because I think I got stopped by some zombies that were blocking my path and I couldn't really see a way around but it still worked nonetheless and even though you're going to be bringing your bike with you this time I would still save on your way back to the bike as it's not guaranteed to get out every single time. So once you're done slashing, you're going to want to save. And just like before, instead of just continuously reloading the save, I would suggest dying and then trying to ride your bike outside the map. But once you finally get yourself fully outside the map, I would just save immediately and you'll see why this bike is going to really come in handy. Now if you try driving not even that much further out, you'll notice that you get hit with a warning saying you're now leaving the playable area or something along those lines. Now this is a problem as they've tried really hard to keep you inside the map. Not only with those thick, really tall barriers, but now a secondary warning barrier that'll teleport you back to your most recent save. Now this could be problematic, except thankfully there's somebody else who found a way to bypass this barrier. Now all credit to this technique goes to Merciless underscore Stark. And we'll try to provide a link to his channel in the description. But so far all I've been able to find is a channel that gives him text credit. Not actually a link to his channel. But once we find a link to his channel we will post that in the description. But to bypass this barrier using his technique. You simply want to drive up as close to the point where it's about to reset you. And then you're going to want a quick save. Now drive in so that it resets you. And then while... As soon as you load in, you're going to want to drive into it, and if you quick saved close enough to the area, then you should be able to just drive right through it, and now you should be in it and able to drive around freely. Now that isn't the only part where this bike is going to very much come in handy. There's a lot of steep hills out here, and the best way to go up all of these steep hills is to walk your bike up them. I know you think that just driving and speeding up it may be the best way, that's what I thought too, but the best way to actually climb all these steep hills is just walking your bike up them. And this allows for a lot of exploration. This side of the map is absolutely massive outside of it, and leads to some pretty scenic views. 
Now, as always, all of the glitches in this video, besides the one aforementioned, were found by our team, Exploit Theory. Now I'll just leave you guys with a little bit of outside the map exploration. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to smack that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe. Now this has been Kyle, and I'll see you guys next time.